Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter. Bam! <laughs> boom, 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 review stuff. And today I am doing a Starbucks review. I cannot believe that I am, excuse me, <laughs> people driving by, they do not realize that I am a famous public figure of the world. <laughs> Paparazzi, please! Today, I cannot believe that I am back to doing Starbucks reviews. I haven't done a Starbucks review over here in like a week, so maybe longer than that. I don't know. I'm really, really excited about it today. I looked on TotallyTheBomb.com. There's like five that I haven't done. There's another Ghostbusters drink that Holly came up with. There's several Sanderson sister drinks from Hocus Pocus, which is one of my favorite movies of life. I love it. Not even just as a Halloween movie, but I love Hocus Pocus. And she's got like five over there. But today, we're going to do the Will Wonka drink so let me uh, pull it up here for you so we can read it and see what it says are you so excited oh my god where is it at here it is <laughs> picture <laughs> okay so let's get to the top of this paparazzi I said no please no pictures <laughs> I kind of just tell myself in my head that I'm not famous. If you tell yourself, if you believe it, you can achieve it. See? <laughs> anyway, you can get a, what are you telling yourself right now that you can achieve? <laughs> okay? Tell yourself mac and cheese, you can achieve it. You can get a Willy Wonka Frappuccino from Starbucks that will remind you that candy is dandy. Now, I have to tell you something. Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory is like one of my favorite movies of life. Okay? I also read the books when I was a little kid. Charlie and the Glass Elevator, and Charlie, the, the book I think is called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, yes, and the movie is called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I guess we decided who's really important, and all these cars driving by, my lord. Anyway, anyway, I digress. So, um, when I was a little kid, I loved it, and my dad and I, when he would pick me up, we would always go to, like, the video store on, like, a Friday, so that we could, like, you know, pick out all the movies for the weekend and whatever. This was back in the day when we had a Betamax. Do you guys remember the Betamax? Okay, we had a Betamax. So, we would go to this little video store, and then I could, I always wanted to go to that back room. I was like, Dad, what's in that back room? Do they have secrets in there? He said, I don't think that back room's for you, Peter. I was like, oh, but I wanted to go so bad, and I always watched real closely who was going into that back room. I still know who you are, okay? I was taking notes. I'm I know who you were that were going in that back room, dirties. Anyway, listen, the back room. I, um... I don't think anywhere has a back room anymore, except for, that just sounds so bad, doesn't it? The back room. <laughs> except for family video, and I haven't been to a family video in 20 years, probably. But every once in a while, when I'm around vlogging at night, I see a family video. There's one out in this city called Oaklandon that I vlog sometimes, and there's still a family video out there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I digress. But anyway, even the, even the post office man is trying to get pictures with me. Oh, my God. Okay. So anyway, I would always get uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the original with Gene Wilder. I loved that movie, even though it kind of like freaked me out and made me kind of scared a little bit. Um, I think like most of us, but I would always have to get candy to go with it. So we would have to go to like the grocery store or whatever and get candy. And I always wanted like the most extravagant candy in the entire world, you know? And only for that opening scene when he would sing that song Imagination, which there's so many great covers of that song I love. I can't remember. Willie Nelson, I think, did a cover of it and somebody else did a cover. There's like a newer version of it. It's kind of very spooky and strange. But anyway, you know when they're like in that area and then the, the kid goes into the, the, he goes into the water, the chocolate river and all that kind of stuff, but I always had to have like chocolate milk and all this kind of stuff. So I've loved Willy Wonka for a really long time. There you get a little story. So I'm super excited about this one. Okay. You can get a Willy Wonka Frappuccino from Starbucks that will remind you that candy is dandy. Let's face it. We all dreamed of getting a golden ticket and get, oh my lord, I did. I wanted a golden ticket. Man, I couldn't open those chocolate bars fast and I was ripping through them. Anyway, and then there was a, do you remember there was still, and maybe there still is, a candy brand called Willy Wonka, and I swore there were going to be golden tickets and those things there never were. Let's face it, we all dreamed of getting a golden ticket and getting to visit a magical candy factory after watching Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Did you know, and she actually put this on here, I'll look it up and see if I can find it in just a second, but... The guy that owns Jelly Bellies, he doesn't own Jelly Bellies really anymore, but he owns a candy factory in Florida, and he's giving away golden tickets to somebody to own the factory. Can you even believe it? Okay. Uh, that's why you need to read totallybomb.com. But who could blame us? Winning the jackpot of Candyland seems like a pretty amazing deal to me. And then they have the 
movie poster, which I love the movie poster. Okay, that's the old version, the, the best version, too. I don't really love the Johnny Depp one. That one kind of really spooks me out. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So, I felt that it was time to take this iconic movie and candy bar and bring it to our Starbucks secret menu. We've covered Whoppers, Almond Joys, Kit Kat. I don't know if I did the Almond Joys, and I don't know if I've done the Rollos one, and Rollos. So, I felt the need to move on to another tasty treat. And here it is. This is what it looks like. Okay. Looks kind of like the Chocolate River, I'd say. Uh, so you could have done, like, ten drinks just from this movie alone. So, I love that she just, like, made it all one. You could do a Gobstopper drink. I wonder what that would be. That would be a really fun one. Say hello to the Willy Wonka Frappuccino. It is packed with chocolatey goodness and will have you feeling like you've just won yourself a candy factory. Okay, maybe it is not that good. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, you know, when I was, like, ten... Tell me if this is not the truth of the nature of getting older, okay? When I was like 10, if somebody had said you want a candy factory, I would have been like, oh my God, my, the rest of my life is made. Today at 48, I think about like property taxes, <laughs> you know, how many employees do I have to pay? How many of them are fill on out work comp claims? You know what I mean? It doesn't sound as magical as it used to, but anyway, <laughs> that's called getting older. Doesn't that suck? It sucks. Okay. Okay, maybe it's not that good, but it's the closest we could get. And here, she put another picture. It's basically, it looks like a chocolate frappuccino. Just make sure that when you order this bad boy, that you take the time to grab our recipe because uh, you can't just walk into Starbucks asking for the Willy Wonka frappuccino because they won't know. Okay, so then it has a secret menu below, which we're going to talk about in just a second. Here, I'll tell you what it is real quick. Hold on a second. Um, do, 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 do. Start by ordering a grande double chocolate chip frappuccino with extra chips. And then you... Picture. <laughs> There's a couple pictures. Picture. And then ask for two pumps of toffee nut syrup, which I love. And then finally ask for extra mocha drizzle all over. And then this is very simple drink to order, but the results are fantastic. So I'm really excited about uh, ordering this. We're gonna see. Now let me go into totallythebomb.com because I want to tell you about this jelly bean meal here real quick. Okay. Jelly <laughs> belly. If she tagged it this. I hope she did. Oh, here it is. Jelly Belly is giving away a candy factory in a golden uh, ticket treasure hunt. And I'm so there. And this is from a couple days, like a week or two ago. This story sounds like it's straight out of the pages of Willy Wonka's story. Mr. Jelly Belly himself, David Klein, who founded Jelly Belly, is retiring. And when he does so, he is handing the keys of a candy factory over to one lucky person. And guess uh, how he is doing this? That's right, my friend's golden tickets. Three golden tickets are going to be dispersed differently than the Willy Wonka story, however. According to the Golden Ticket website, this is going to be a boots on the ground treasure hunt. So basically, it's like in your state, there's like people in each state that have a chance to win. It does cost $49.99 to play this little treasure hunt. For that price, you get a riddle. The riddle will clue you in on where to look in, a, in for the gold in your state. Oh, that would be fun. I should do this. You could be looking for a gold ticket in the form of a necklace with a tag that includes a code you need to use to verify your find. Winners will receive $5,000 if you find it. Oh, wow. Okay. And then here's a little necklace that you get. It could be. It says the gold, the gold ticket. All the participants in this treasure hunt to find a golden ticket necklace will get to participate in the ultimate treasure hunt where Mr. Klein is actually going to give away one of his candy factories. Uh, now, it's important to note, David Klein is no longer a part of the Jelly Belly Company. The candy factory up for grabs is one of his candy man kitchens. Who care then? Not me. <laughs> no, I do. I'd want to win a little candy factory. I think that'd be real fun. Retired. I mean, but like I said, kids, property taxes. <laughs> Okay, and then all that forty nine ninety nine that the, all those people did, who does that go to? Mr. Klein, Jelly Belly himself. He's like, this is how I'm going to retire. I'm going to make a bunch of money. And I'm just stupid enough that I'd pay the forty nine ninety nine to try to win that golden ticket. I should do it with my good Jitty Melissa and my good Jitty's Melissa and Aaron because they go to those, those ghost places and stuff like that, and we could probably mostly win. I think we would. But then who would win the gold? The who would win the candy factory? My good Jitty Melissa, she and her husband used to own an ice cream uh, shop. I loved going there and getting free ice cream. <laughs> it was like my favorite thing. I was devastated when they closed that down. <laughs> but anyway, it was a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Oh my God, there's all these people sitting outside Starbucks today. Must be lots of businesses going on. Business transactions, interviews, things like that. I guess. Just my people call your people. I'm just gonna get my. Oh my god, the line is so long. Oh lord, everybody must be here for their totally the bomb.com Starbucks secret menu drinks. Now the last time I came through this Starbucks, cause see I already got my Starbucks for the day. The girl was really sweet, and she was like, um, 
she was like, oh, this, no, this is how, because, like, people, I guess, come through here, and they're like, can I have the candy apple frappuccino? And then they have no clue what they're talking about, right? But she said, no, you ordered it perfectly, so let's see if I order it perfectly today. Okay. I hope so. I can't pull up all the way. Do you ever get, listen to a song and then you get it stuck in your head and you can't get it out of your head? Oh my God, Nora and Pure, all I need. I was just listening to a remix of that uh, a Billie Eilish song, All I Ever Wanted. I love that song so much, but so sad, isn't it so sad? I kind of like sad music sometimes though, especially when I'm happy and then I'm listening to sad music and then I'm like, Psh, I'm not sad today, family friendly. We're waiting. I know, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make you wait for this whole line, but to the, for the order, so you can see how you work, the process. The, trust the process, trust the journey, you know? Somebody must have gotten 15 kids frappuccinos and 14 cake bakes, those little cake things. What are they called? Those. What are they called, those little cookie thing cakes? Those are such a waste of money. You know all your kids want them, don't they? I did get one through here, though. I was reviewing the unicorn one. It was actually really good, but for $3 for a little piece of cake like that, no thank you. I could go to a birthday party and get it for free. Anyway. Handcrafted tea, matcha green tea latte. Chai. At the other one that I went to, they're like out of everything. Like it says over everything, out of, out of, out, we're out of this, we're out of that. This one, they're not out of anything. Probably because nobody wants to wait in this line so long to get anything. Do you think they can hear me? <laughs> Literally, the intercom is like probably five feet from me. They're like, oh Lord, it's that reviewer again. <laughs> Not him. <laughs> There's this long ladder on the side of Starbucks. I never noticed that before, do you see? I'd have to go over there just to go on the roof and see what's on the roof. Wouldn't you want to though? My God, wouldn't you want to? I get my good Judy, my good Judy Tanya and I worked here. I'd be like, oh, we're going on that roof. She'd be like, we're not going on that roof. I'd be like, we have business on that roof. Don't even worry about it. We're going up there. She'd be like, what business do we, don't even, they ask, we just have business to do on the roof. And then I just go up there and hang out all day long. Okay. We should be moving, but this one minivan up here, she's not paying attention because she's like looking at texts on her phone. So she's not moving. Come on. Okay. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you today? Thank you, thank you. What can we get started for you today? Okay, can you help me make a drink, please? I need to get a grande double chocolate chip frappuccino with extra chips. Do you want a grande double chocolate chip with what else? Uh, a frappuccino with extra chips. Okay, with extra, extra, extra chips? Got it. And then I need two pumps of toffee nut syrup in that. Put three pumps of the dog chips on any more additional yeah. Two. Two, uh, uh, two of the toffee nut. Oh, yeah, but the dog Yeah. You want an extra as well? No. Just oh, the you didn't. Okay. okay. So we're going to have five pumps of toffee nut with there. No, no, how, many, how many do you usually put in it? Three. Oh, it's already in there? Well, no, I mean, if you wanted it for a grande, yeah, I would always put it. No, but in the chocolate chip frappuccino, there's already toffee nut? No, if you wanted, you would put Oh, no, 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 no. I just, I just want two pumps of the toffee nut syrup in it. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, and then I need extra mocha drizzle all over the top of it. And that's it. Sorry about the confusion. Okay, thank you. Holly, that was not as easy as you made it sound, Holly. That was a very difficult drink. Actually, it was very easy. I'm kind of confused. So, I guess they put like three of the mochas in? I don't know. I'm sure there, there's a lot of baristas that watch my channel. Somebody let me know what just happened because I have no clue. But we're going to review whatever we get and it doesn't matter because you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. By the way, they also have their new cups coming out, their holiday cups. Uh, they uh, That's on totallythebomb.com. I can't get that song out of my head. I'm so over it. It's all I ever wanted. <laughs> I'm basically the singer of the world in case you didn't know. Alrighty. 
sorry about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm relaxed. I'm just kidding. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Hey. I like your hat. Thank you, Peter. Let me see yours. What does that say? It's it's a silver fox. Silver fox. I love it. They have all the different ones. On yes. Them. I love it. All right, bud. They have hats like yours, too. Nice. Really nice. Uh, it's called G Gorin Brothers. G O O R I N. Oh, okay. It's online, yeah. They're not that expensive either. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Business meeting still happening over there. <laughs> People acting like they're doing business. You're not doing any business. Get over yourself. <laughs> I just tell myself that I went the wrong way. I knew, like, if I go one way, it depends on which, this person is looking at me. I'm doing a review, don't worry about it. I knew whichever way I went was gonna be wrong for facing the light. I should've known, go into the light, Carol Ann. That's how I remember, true story, that is how I remember it for light. Go, see, go into the light, Carol Ann. Okay, perfection right there. Okay, oh, now there's this person next to me. She's just sitting in her car, I don't know what she's doing, but we're gonna get a thumbnail any, either way. She, she's probably like, what is going on? <laughs> hey gal, don't worry, I'm just doing a review, okay? <laughs> she's like this. <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy! <laughs> she did not turn and look, not at all. She is like, what crazy person's next to me? Me, don't worry about it, it's just me. Cheers, let's try this. Ooh, that is chocolatey. It's good though. Tastes like a milkshake. I mean, it straight up tastes like a chocolate chip milkshake. I would get this again. This is really good. But like, you have to really be in a chocolate mood. It is like super, super chocolatey. Look, you can see the toffee nut right there. I'm gonna try that. It is. You guys, you know what this tastes like? It tastes straight up like a Snicker bar. It is so good. Yeah, it's better with each taste. <laughs> I would drink this whole thing and I would get another. I'm gonna give this a five out of five. It is really good, you guys. Look at that chocolatey top. Look at all that. I'm not dumping this upside down. <laughs> you guys, that was not planned and I'm not ever doing that again. Trust me, it really wasn't that hard to clean up my car though. I thought it would, like after I turned off the camera, I was like, if you watched my video yesterday, I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna clean this out? Actually, they didn't have any uh, napkins at Taco Bell, so I had to use my hoodie to clean it out, so that's sitting right over there. But um, it wasn't that hard. I'm gonna give this <clears throat> A 4.9 out of 5, and the only reason I'm giving it a point less is for this one reason. I wish that Holly, she just left her car. She said, forget you. <laughs> she truly did that. Um, I wish Holly would have come up with more Willy Wonka drinks. I think she should think about it, like gobstopper drinks and things like that. I think even like how she did the Sanderson sisters for Hocus Pocus, I think different characters would be really, really cool if she did that too. So anyway, cheers. I think this is a great recipe. Go try it. If you love chocolate, you'll love it. And um, love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.